Hello YouTube, how you doing? So, so, you're wondering, what muscle groups do I put together in the same workout? Well, you want to put muscle groups together that work together. Meaning, when one muscle group is working primarily, the other is being worked secondarily. So common sense would tell you to put these muscle groups together in the same workout. This results in a shorter workout, but also a more effective workout because you are exhausting the muscle groups with fewer sets. I mean, it's a win-win. For example, I would put biceps and back together, triceps and chest together, and your quads and hamstrings together. This is all because these muscle groups work together. When one is working primarily, the other is working secondarily. For instance, whenever you are doing a bicep exercise, you are going to be also stimulating the back. And vice versa, whenever you're doing a back exercise with a underhanded or vertical grip, you're also going to be stimulating the biceps. Also, whenever you're doing a tricep exercise, such as dips, you're going to be also working the chest. When you're doing a chest exercise, you like uh, bench press, you're also going to be stimulating the triceps. Same thing goes for your quads and hamstrings. When it comes to the smaller muscle groups, like your shoulders, your abs, your calves, your forearms, I like to either put them by themselves or mix and match them together. I used to put my calves and legs together, but after doing 16 sets for your legs, I would only do like six to eight sets for my calves. And it really wasn't effective. I really wasn't exhausting my calves. So they really didn't grow much. But then I decided to put them with my abs or with my shoulders and I could do 16 sets. And that was really way more effective. To change it up from time to time, I might put my biceps with my forearms or my biceps with my shoulders. I would never, ever, ever do more than two muscle groups at a time. This is because I feel like to exhaust any one muscle group, you have to do at least 12 sets. And if you did three muscle groups, that would equal 36 sets in a workout. And that's just crazy if you ask me. And that would take about two and a half hours. So I don't know about you, but I just don't have the time for that. Once again, I would put biceps and back together, triceps and chest together, and then your quads and hamstrings together. Then mix and match the smaller muscle groups or put them by themselves. I just feel that it is smart to do it this way because it takes fewer sets to exhaust any exhaust the muscle group. I mean, you could put your biceps and your triceps together, but one's a pushing movement, your tricep, and one's a pulling movement, your bicep. So these exercises would never work together. So it would take at least 16, maybe even 20 sets to exhaust the muscle group. And you might not even really exhaust the muscle group. So I feel it's just really inefficient. In the end, I suggest that you just try different combinations out for yourself and see what is really effective for you. Peace.